Hi guys, I just recently unboxed the 3DS XL, as you can see here. It's in the same position at the end of the last video, if you were paying attention to the last video. Oh, yes. um, anyway, so we're going to be looking at the 3DS and 3DS XL differences. So, this is my old 3DS. I'll put it up next to this bad boy. So, as you can see, there is a considerable size difference already right now. Um, the 3DS is slightly smaller, actually, if you look at it at that angle. It isn't anywhere near the right size. I mean, the screens are a lot bigger on the XL. So, what's different with this one? As you can see here, the back is where the stylus is now housed on the 3DS. So, originally you'd pull it out and you'd have the extendable stylus. Now, this is all good and well, but when you're playing games, it's a bit awkward to turn your DS around to get that stylus out. To be honest, not many people use the stylus anyway, so it's not much of a problem. On the new 3DS XL, this has been changed back to where the DS Lite had its stylus, which is on the right-hand side. Now, when you're playing games, you can just pull it out and it's the um, original DS stylus. So. You don't have the extendable one, which we used to get. It's just a simple, normal stylus now, which I think is a lot better because the extended one was... It was fun at first, but there was no need for it, really. Other improvements we've got? Pretty much the same on the outside. I mean, the SD card slot has actually been improved slightly, if I can find it on this one. Yeah, it's been turned to the other side, and it just looks a lot more subtle. As you can see, it's very hard to see, to be honest. It's there, and the other one is quite square and bulky and obvious. Now before I go to the inside, the main difference you can see here is probably that this is a lot rounder on the edges um, and it's a lot more comfortable to hold in your hands, they don't really dig into the corners. With the old 3DS, it was a lot more bulky and it had a lot more sharp corners, so they were very pointy and dug into your hands, which was a pain when you're trying to play long sessions of gaming. So, let's look inside. So, this is the original 3DS, um, you get your 3D styler, slider? Slider on the inside even, hell. Um, and that just simply slides up and down. Now that doesn't lock, that just slides up and down. If I shake the DS, that will come on, which was a problem. On the new 3DS, this is going to turn on. This 3D slider goes on, and it clicks off. So there's no way that will turn on without you actually opening it. You might have also heard, the 3DS kind of locks into different positions now. Whereas the original, just has the open and close. So it sounds a lot quieter this one to open up, but the 3DS XL actually has the set positions in, which is a lot nicer to use. Other than that, I mean, this, the DS is a pretty similar layout, but this is where you'll see the big problem. The screen is massive on the new one. I mean, if I boot up, it's only on the setup stage, so I won't be able to show you too much. But, let's see what this guy does. It will eventually turn on. But as you can see, the, the screen size is very, very different on these guys. I mean, this pixels is exactly the same, so you're not actually getting any higher quality by getting the 3DS XL, but you just get a nicer, gorgeous look. So. To be honest, screen-wise, it's worth the upgrade, and you also get about six hours extra battery on the, or six hours in general, it's only about four hours on the 3DS. So the main difference really is the battery life and the screen size, obviously 90% bigger screens, and then this lasts for about four, four to six hours, this lasts for two to four hours. So you're getting a fair hour to hour battery life depending on how you're using it. Okay, so should you buy the 3DS XL or should you buy a 3DS? If you've already got a 3DS, buying the 3DS XL might be worth it if you want the extra battery life and you want the bigger screens. To me, it felt worth it and I got a free game. So it all kind of worked out for the price. But if you've already got a 3DS, it's not an essential upgrade. You can do without this and you can still enjoy your games. If you're going to buy a 3DS from scratch, I'd recommend the XL just because of the bigger screens. You get a nice gorgeous console straight up. But either way, either console works. If you don't have the money, the 3DS is still a great console. It still works, it just is a lot smaller, and it digs into your hands a little bit. So, whatever one you prefer, they both do exactly what you want. They both play great 3D games or 2D games, depending on what you prefer. And, yeah, they're both great Nintendo DS consoles. I definitely recommend picking up a 3DS if you don't have one. So, if you want to know anything else about these lovely consoles, leave me a comment down below. And I will answer any questions about your upgrades to the 3DS, the transfer process, or anything I haven't mentioned in this video that you want to know. So, alright guys, see you in the next video. It's on Nathan.